This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. What is up, me little sugar buggers? Welcome back to the channel for yet another segment of my gameplay capture captured at Sims Camp on Discover University. Now, I have been stirring a big old pot of procrastination when it comes to this part in particular because there's so much content, so much to talk about, that I'm honestly overwhelmed, but... Is that truly a bad thing? I honestly, I honestly think not. So we're gonna talk about soccer really quick. At first, I honestly thought that this was going to be a whole shindig. Turns out you can join esports. It's actually some type of like almost after after school activity type of doodad. Um, and with the soccer ball, you can practice juggling, you can place it in the world, or you can kick the ball around with a friend. Um, unfortunately, this means that there isn't any goals or anything uh, quite like that. So I wanted to talk a little bit more on classes because I did get a couple questions in the last video. Um, yes, classes are rabbit holes, and no, I don't mind. There's so much to do within the world surrounding you that honestly, me being stuck in class and having to go through the motion of the ocean uh, just really isn't all that fun. I'm not the uh, biggest fan of rabbit holes, and I wanted them to be interactive at first, but now that I've actually had my hands on Discover University, um, I've realized there's a lot of other things you can do. Like, you can take photos, you can sleep, you can leave early, you can chat with other students um, so term papers basically can be written on the computer and they act like any other task somebody asked me about that uh, professors and teachers can be found while walking around on campus and there's also um, another little situation I'll talk about in a minute so I decided to go over to Pepper's pub with a friend his name is Marcelo I wanted to kind of have Jayla and Marcelo build a little bit of a relationship in the pub looks like an English pub it's very dim it's very gusty. Unfortunately, there's no new drinks. Um, you will notice that there will be quite a few organization events happening there. Even the secret society comes sometimes, and this is where they meet and then disappear to their secret location. Because Jayla is in the law career, she actually has an interaction where she can meet prospective clients, and there is a new hip-hop station with Rico Nasty herself. I loved that. Um, some of the building interactions are you're able to sit on classes which allows you to earn um, a skill point for each class it costs like 250 simoleons new skills include robotics and research and debate um, you can also attend a lecture attend lecture with a friend um, and visit office hours and I think this allows you to meet up with your professors yes you can build relationships and try to convince them to you know boost your grades and after each class you'll also get a little notification on how your class went Jayla's very first organization event was actually for the Botsavians. If your sim wanted to join the Botsavians organization, now would be the perfect time. Playing with the robotics table is fun, but extremely challenging. At first, there really isn't much for you to do. However, the more skill you have in robotics, the more items you can create. Right off the bat, you can craft a chatterbot, but just like any other project, you're going to need materials. So tinkering at the station will help your sim find scraps, but be where your sim can get zapped while experimenting and if they're not careful it can be deadly Jayla was feeling a little hungry, so she grabbed a quick cinnamon roll at the kiosk before heading to the next organization event, the Foxberry Spirit Squad Bar Night. Jayla really wanted to be a part of the Foxberry Spirit Squad, so she asked a member if she could join, and he said yes. Immediately, she got this organization tab. She started off as a new member with a list of things to do. Put banners on your sports arena. Put banner on a rival's arena. Taunt a rival student. The more tasks you complete your sim will start getting experience and I believe it increases the rank within the organization robots can woohoo they can also build relationships they can die but since they don't have a soul no reaper will show they can also become a radio and a robot nanny and more game day every Friday a few hours before 6 p.m. there is a game day event in front of the stadium at the stadium you can purchase tickets to watch a soccer game and you can even bring someone with you caution you might actually find random streakers 
So after a while of getting to know each other, eventually Jayla and Marcella wanted to take their relationship to the next level and indulge in a little shower woohoo. But in my personal opinion, shower woohoo kind of fell short. It was a little disappointing. It felt like it was a reused animation from Closet Woohoo and Sims Do It with their clothes still on. Not to mention when you try to look, no one is even there. But later, I decided to go ahead and join in on a little debate club happening at Brightchester. Again, even if you don't go to the events home university, you can still participate. Um, some of the things that you can actually do is you can debate a topic and you can participate in a showdown. If you choose a debate topic, um, you pick the sim and you choose a topic to debate. So there really wasn't any obvious timer or way to know when the debate was finished, but when Jayla walked away, she walked away victorious. Uh, did I mention when your sims pass level 4 on skills, they can actually tutor sims at the school building for some simoleons? While Jayla was studying one night, I actually got a notification about a mixer that was happening. And finally, Larry the Lobster showed himself because before then, I had literally never seen him. And mixers, you guys, are the game's way or opportunity of having both universities come together and kind of like intermingle and hash out any sort of rivalries, which never actually ends up happening. But soon came the end of the term. At the end of the term, you do your final exams. Based on your performance at your classes, your grades will reflect your efforts. My sim, Jayla, got it 1D and 2 A's. So as a result, it kind of evened her out and she got a B as her average score. Here's where you can enroll for another term or you could just go ahead and take a break. So these are the classes that Jada chose for her second trimester or maybe it would be like second school year. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. So present presentations are really fun. I like them a lot. Uh, for some of your classes, you will receive a presentation board. Um, at first, you really can't do much. You can only capture information, but once you start putting the board together, you can refine and reorganize. You can ask for feedback from your fellow dorm mates. Um, you can even practice presenting and give that final presentation when your board quality reflects the effort that you put in. So like at first, it'll be kind of like poor quality, but as you refine it and reorganize, organize and ask for feedback, um, you can actually improve the quality of your presentation. And finally, the topic of discussion I'm sure a lot of you guys have been dying to have. The Secret Society. The Secret Society can be found near Pepper's Club close to the ruins. And you may think all that you need to do to join is just befriend them. But no, they want something far more valuable. An offering. So at the university statue, you can make an offering for academic success. My suggestion is to offer something valuable or rare. I actually gave them a rare crystal and and it seemed to work in my favor. If you receive this surreal focus buff, that means you're in. But you're gonna have to wait. I almost forgot. Roommates can leave notes through the dorm. Jayla actually found one. It wasn't hers, but she was curious, so she read it. Needless to say, that night she put his toothbrush in the toilet. When it comes time, a member of the secret society will pay you a visit, but remember, they will come to you. This is when they will ask if you'd like to join them, but only do so if your heart is pure. If you select yes, that means you're in. Now, along with any of the other organizations you're in, you will see the Order of Enchantment. Just like any of the other organizations, you will have tasks to complete in order to rise your rank. Jayla visited the ritual altar and tried to do a few tasks. Since she is now a part of the secret society, she can interact with the altar and she can even check in with the sprites or offer them something if she had anything worth giving. Jayla asked how they were and judging by the color of their wings, they were feeling quite tense. So you guys, that concludes all of the details, all of the footage that I currently possess on Discover University. My official thoughts and theories cannot come at this time because 
because obviously it's shiny, it's squeaky, it's clean. Anything and everything that I have thought or wanted to say about it, I've said already. If you guys are interested in checking out the very first part of my gameplay footage where we kind of talk about dorm life and things of that sort, um, I will absolutely go ahead and like throw that in. Um, I did forget to mention just very quickly about the new like foods, how there's like pizza rolls and burritos that you can actually um, consume via the microwave. So although you can't cook on campus, I highly, highly, highly suggest purchasing a microwave. You'll regret it later if you don't. Now, in terms of having a Let's Play on the channel, yes, we are going to be having a university LP featuring Miss Finley, Sophia Foreman from the Foremans. I'm so excited. Don't know how it's going to look just yet, but just know I am so excited to do this. I wanted to do this with Clem, but unfortunately, the time just was not right. Anyways, you guys, I want to give, again, a huge thank you. Thank you, thank you to EA for inviting me to Since Camp to get this footage for you guys and also providing me early access to the game. I am beyond grateful and appreciative and ultimately to you guys because I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for you, and I'll never forget that. So thank you again um, for watching and let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts in freaking theories on discovery university if you have any questions for me feel free to drop them down below with a sun it does not shine and with that said you guys i'm gonna go ahead and roll out i will see you all next time bye guys i've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone